Well, I'm out here tonight. It's uh, a very early summer in Australia and it's cicada season. I'm just trying to find a cicada which has come up out of the hole. I think that's one there. I don't know if that one's uh, a gurra or not. I'll just see if he's still going. I don't know. He seems a bit lifeless, this one. Come on, bud. I know you've been sleeping for a couple of years, but it's time to get your wings. No, for some reason I think he's seen better days. I'll try and find another more active cicada. Just looking around the base of this tree. This is a favourite for cicadas over the years. Ah, uh, there's one. I can see another one. This one looks like a healthy chap. Oh yeah, this one's climbing up to find a spot to become a winged cicada. It's looking pretty healthy. Maybe let's try and get a time lapse of this chap coming out of his shell. They're quite amazing creatures, the old cicadas. It might be a bumpy year this year. They are out very, very early, but it's been very, very hot. There's a lot of bushfires around as well. I know what that ant's looking for. It's looking for a nice juicy cicada to have as a meal. Well, I'll grab both those cicadas and see if I can get some footage of these guys coming out of their shell. Yes, this is the frisky one. He's made a bit of a dash. Let's see if he comes out of his shell. Well, there they are. The one at the bottom of the screen was the one that seemed, well, it was dead, but maybe it's undergoing its transformation at the moment. The one at the top there is still climbing. It probably thinks I'm a tree. Oh, they're together. It's a bit early, guys. Anyone going to tell these guys I'm not a tree? Well, as outlandish as this looks, guess where those two cicadas are? Do you like Cookie Monster? Yeah. Do you like cicadas? Yeah. Well, let's bring the two together and let's hopefully get some footage of those cicadas spreading their wings. Oh, Cookie Monster. Yeah. I've never done this before. I don't think anyone else has ever done this on YouTube. Well, not at least on Cookie Monster. And I don't even know what frame rate I'll set up to capture this because I think it takes a couple of hours for them to come out of their shell. Well, they're totally motionless at the moment. And from what I've seen when these guys come out of their shell, I think they come out and they'll drop down this way. They'll drop down and hang below to get their wings pumped. I'm actually thinking of one frame per second to capture this. I've never done it before. Do you think that's going to work, one frame per second? Yeah. Out of curiosity, there's the time on the clock. It's just coming up to 11 o'clock at night. While I'm sleeping, these guys are going to be really busy. Well, it's taken me about 20 minutes to set up this Very Dodgy Brothers uh, production here. What's very interesting is that guy there, that critter there, has not moved. He's still on Cookie Monster's little hand. But the other critter has moved up to his mouth and that's more the position I would expect for when these cicadas hatch because when they hatch they sort of droop down from the shell. That's the camera. I'll be using two of these cameras. One's recording this at the moment. This is the other camera and it has a time lapse function inside this. I've never used it before so I'll be playing well a deadly game of let's hope it works. Okay the stage is set. Who knows if both of those guys are going to come out. I really don't know what I'm doing here, let's just hope I can pull this one off.
Well, it's just coming up to 6 o'clock in the morning. I went to sleep in the end about 2 o'clock. I watched one of the cicadas come out of the shell. I have two cameras on this cookie monster with two cicadas on it. How strange does that sound? And this is what we have in the morning. The one, the first one I watched, which was up near his mouth, looks like it's flown away. And the other one, which was taking forever to come out, has finally made it. So there's number two. He was very, very slow, and I, I thought he was a bit sick, actually, but he's come out. He looks fine and dandy. That there was number one, and he is somewhere in the house. I've got to try and find him. The other curious thing to number two was, I think originally he was here, and of course I've already checked the camera, and he's done a bit of a smooch around to a better position to hatch. And because it was all recorded last night, I actually sped up the time lapse for that second guy. If I press this file here, it might be able to see what went on. Yeah, there he is, he's trying to find a spot. Oh, he's got there, we'll probably see him come out because he came, they tend to pop out and rise up from their shell. Oh yes, there's a bit of a profile shot of it. I don't think the camera I've got at the moment, which was looking in another direction, really saw much of that, it dropped out of frame. Well, I was able to put one cicada in the bug catcher to show my son when he wakes up, but I've got another problem. I have got absolutely no idea where that other cicada has flown off to. So there's a rogue cicada in the house. I dare say my wife is not going to be very happy at all. I've got to start thinking like a cicada. If I was let loose in this house, where would I go? I'd certainly keep away from the big spiders. I'd possibly go for the Cocoa Pops. I'm going to need all the help I can possibly find. I wonder what a Google search would do. How to find a C-I-C-A-D-A in the house. Looks like other people have searched for this. How weird. Now I can sit here for hours thinking this is going to help me. <laughs> well, here's an update. Here's an update. My daughter has woken up. Went for a search around the house for this elusive cicada. And I was looking for a brown one. I'm pretty sure the brown one popped out. Yeah. And now you're happy we've found it, aren't you? Yes, and um, where we found it was behind a chair, and I was sitting on that chair. That's the chair? I'm pretty sure that's the chair that I had to have the cameras on, so that cicada was probably right near me all the time. And the funny thing is, look at the colour now. It's turned black. And that there is an absolutely beautiful specimen. Here we go. It's going to be possibly a one-take wonder here. That was a little baby one. That was the second one to hatch. Up on the cookie. And this is the first one to hatch that flew away. And then I found him a bit later on. Up on the cookie. Dan, there. Dan, yeah. it fly back to you. They fly back to me? Yeah. I don't know. I think they'll probably fly to the window when I want to fly. I'll try and get out of the house. Look at them go. Wow. I've got a feeling that they'll take off and head to that window because they're probably looking for freedom. They've only got a couple of weeks to live now. They've spent a number of years... Oh, there he goes, off to the window. First one's gone. Is that second one going to be a fly bird? There he goes, whoa! Gone. He fly. Want to take him outside now? I think they need their freedom. They've only got a few weeks to live and um, then it's over. Red Rover. Okay, bye. No, no, we're going to have to take them outside because that's where they're going to live. Well, I just recovered them from the window. Whoa! It's probably time to let him go outside. Want to let him go? No. Come on, we've got to. Well, he's on the move. He's headed for the light. He'll probably take off, have a fly. And he'll say, I'm looking for a tree because I want something to eat. Well, I suppose we'll just take him back to where it all began. This is where I found him last night. Come on, my sweeties. Time for some real freedom. Put you up in the tree, eh? Come on. Ah, that's more like it. He's away, or she's away. And for the other smaller one, oh, I think they're females. Ah, what a beautiful sight. There they go. Enjoy a few weeks with us and don't do things that are dangerous. Well, there they go, climbing the tree. This is what they would have done last time when they hatched. They're probably feeling, whew, we're out of that house now, we're free, we're away from that silly guy making the video. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you've lasted as long as always, I'm gonna say thank you and bye for now.